Good morning, world. Good morning. I'm excited. One of our listeners suggested a song <clears throat> that I didn't even know existed, and I'm hitting myself for because it's one of my favorite bands. Okay. Shine Down. For those of you, it's they were kind of like the post grunge, uh, early 2000s. They kind of carried over the the grunge music. Saw them in concert. Loved them. Loved their music. We have a new song. It's called Planet Zero Okay. by Shinedown. And thank you to our listener. Do you There's remember her name? Emily Mays. Emily Mays. Hayes. Thank you. Hayes? Yes. Emily Hayes. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned, you guys. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. <laughs> All right, Cedric, I know I'm excited about this. Um, this is in I, your wheelhouse. I know, yeah. It's Cedric's, Cedric likes country, he likes R&B, he likes some rap. He's not a huge rock guy, but... Um, music is music. He's going to put up with it. Yes. Um, I'm excited because the lyrics, I like the lyrics, because you don't find, a lot of rock songs are either about, you know, sex, drug, and rock and roll. <laughs> so this one actually has to do with what we're going through right now. Awesome. But before we do that, we gotta we gotta pay our bills. So, are you prepared? Like Brian says, are you prepared? Do you have enough food, water, and other essentials to get you through tough times? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families just like yours. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit, which will keep you well-fed for four weeks worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. In fact, you may need it a lot sooner than that. So don't wait. Go to www.preparewithcedricandbrian.com. That's www.preparewithcedricandbrian.com. Got to stay ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. All right, so Planet Zero, Shine Down. I One of the reasons I like Shine Down is the lead singer's voice. Uh, I'm a big Chris Cornell fan. And he's not Chris Cornell, but he's got that type of voice. He's got a great range. I don't know if he shows it in this song, because like I said, I haven't watched this yet. I just read through some of the lyrics. Uh, we will find out together. Okay. All well, right. Let's do it. Here we go. You don't know what you're doing. You don't care who you ruin. Just keep the fantasy moving. It's a hell of a show. This sounds like the current administration or mainstream media. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Submission, right? That's kind of what he's talking about there. Right. I'm confused. With the right, and you talked about a good spot right there. The mouth is blurred out sometimes, and sometimes the eyes are blurred out. So is it saying that we're being blinded and we're also being stifled? I think we're being muted. Muted. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm getting so far. And it was over the eyes too. So I'm saying is that when we're some things are being kept from us to see what's actually out there? Yeah, I think so. I think this is interesting. Okay. Interesting.
so the one lyric it was they're canceling your feelings I think they're saying not to express your feelings. If you do, you'll be canceled. That's very similar. Now, I don't know when this song was made. It's a recent song, I'm assuming. I think it has a lot to do with COVID. Because as you know, along with the black camp and the white camp, there's also the vaccine camp and the non-vaccine camp. And there are people who were non-vaccine who were being silenced. Am Am I reaching here? It could be. Again, it's this is, it's what I like about when I used to listen to a lot of songs, you know, back in the 80s. You had, it was like, remember when you had to take class and you had to decipher poems? Yeah. And sometimes it wasn't, you know, you didn't really know it right off the bat. You kind of had to dissect it. A lot of times these lyrics, is like you have to kind of look into them. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's different. We do a lot of stuff where the words are in your face and you can, you know exactly what they're talking about. This one takes a little bit more thought. Yeah. So like one group was being silenced depending on what echo chamber you chose to reside in. Okay. I'll I'll go with that. They're murdering our heroes. Mm. That could mean a, a few things, right? Yeah, uh, not, and, and it could be, uh, like you said, with the poem thing, I mean, I mean, like, actually murder or killing, right? But silencing them. Silencing them. Um, like maybe Joe Rogan. I mean, he's kind of, I, I, I mean, you can use that as a hero. He's one of the most popular people on the planet. Right. And they want to silence him. Yeah. Because they didn't want him, again, back to the COVID. Mm-hmm. They didn't want him having people on that might have a different opinion. Might have too much of an thing. influence. Okay. All right. I see. I see what you're doing there. Oh, look at me, I'm not looking for a favor I'm just looking for an extra crime All hail, power to the people Except you, who checks up us, we don't like. Ah, <laughs> ah except team? you You check the box that we don't like That it's all Okay, it's all coming around Okay So you can have Talk your opinion uh-huh. Unless you check the box we don't like so right. again, if you're the person going against the mainstream, we don't we don't like your opinion. You can talk as long as you say so, what okay. we want you to say. They're going to blind you and they're going to silence you because you don't conform to the narrative. That's got it. Okay. By George, I think he's got I'm it. Sorry. Maybe we're a little slow. Well, I think I, I got it pretty quickly. I'm, I'm a little slow. Yeah. Well, then that we. I was having trouble. I, I mean, I like his voice, but again... It's different than like a Tom McDonald where you can understand every single word. Right. Um, it's a little harder because you've got all the guitars and everything going. So, but I like that. <laughs> Except you, you checked up us, we don't like. Don't like. So back your tongue, cause it might save your life. Ah. Oh, this is just coming to you. It's like the floodgates are opening. <laughs> So bite your tongue, it may save your life. Again, it, metaphorically, yeah. they're not, at least at this point, they're not coming to actually murder you, but you better bite your tongue. Or else you could get Epstein. <laughs> or you just get canceled. Yeah. So this whole thing is just about not saying what you feel, going back to the earlier lyrics, because they'll come after you. Yeah, to piggyback on that, remember we went to Tennessee last year, and we got a chance to watch... Um, Adam Carolla being interviewed by Candace Owens, and she asked him point blank, who are the conservative actors and actresses out there? And after pushing him for a while because he wouldn't answer, he simply said, the ones who are being quiet. Yes. Yes. I like this song. I like this. Okay. Let's move on. And I encourage you all, because I know we talk a lot, but we're trying to break this down. Go and just listen to the song in its entirety. You know, go, go support them. I really like the band. So I didn't get that the first time, 
they're canceling your feelings, but then they say on to better days or so they say, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I, we haven't touched on the title yet. I'm trying to think, okay, Planet Zero. I'm, I'm thinking that he's thinking, being very simplistic, this is the only planet we've got. Yeah. Let's not mess this up. So we need to all to come together, black, white, left, right, Democratic, Republican, whatever it is. We're, we're Planet Zero. We keep beating each other up yeah. over stuff. We're going to ruin the planet and everybody that's on it. And with that, with the the whole war talk, too, people saying, you know, they want to keep escalating this, mm -hmm. but there's nuclear weapons out there, mm -hmm. you know. So if we keep this discourse going uh, or this, you know, pitting people against each other. So it's a good song for our times, yeah. I think. Okay, so I have to admit I had to look this up. Okay. Okay, those hieroglyphics actually have a me uh, meaning, and I didn't know when it was going to hit in the song, uh, but somebody did that for us. So it means obedience is obligatory, dissent is forbidden, compliance is mandatory, and mistakes are not tolerated. Hmm. Okay. So that's basically... That's what that means? That's what... Yeah, it came up really fast on there. And I guess somebody actually paused it. Thank you to somebody who actually... Looks like an old version of a... Comment on it. It's a caveman version of someone sitting on the toilet. <laughs> that thing, yeah. But it was the whole thing, all the hieroglyphics. So if you take that for the meaning, obedience is obligatory. That means you have to obey the yeah. mainstream media. Now I'm going back to my rap days. Allow me to pontificate for a second, if you will. Okay. My rap days with a Public Enemy, there was a song out there, and they talk about simple and plain give me the lane i'll throw down your throat like barkley we're all the same pieces in one big chess game the the chess game that they were playing there making moves and stuff and you saw they all vanished. it was like a few seconds before that yeah we're, we're we're all we're pieces on one big chess game and we can all think we're kings or queens a lot of us are pawns queen but if we don't uh <laughs> if we don't get together and, and pull together like back to the planet zero thing you can knock all the pieces off the board and everything's done. But I, I, I like this. I'm just going to read them again. So dissent is forbidden. Again, go back to Rogan. You know, he dissented from the mainstream narrative. They wanted to kick him off. Right. Um, compliance is mandatory. It's all the same thing. You have to comply. And mistakes are not tolerated. Um, he said he was sorry. It doesn't matter. It, and a lot of this sounds like, and I go back to this, George Orwell, the book 1984. That's that's what a lot of society is now, and people don't realize it. And I think it should be... We told Joe you made a mistake for apologizing. Yeah. And mandatory books should be George Orwell, 1984, and they should discuss that. It shouldn't be, you know, how Johnny can be Susie right. and stuff like that. Um, all right. There's, good. there's one more in here. I'm going to get into the Oh, so that hieroglyphic, he said, this is not real. So it repeated what it said on the other thing. Okay. Um, this is not real. See, he's stuck be behind this, this wall, this glass wall. It's very isolating, the whole feel of this video.
I'm sorry, I just pulled a Brian. I know you don't stop the video. I had another <laughs> thought. They're murdering all of our heroes. This could be going back to the taking down of monuments. Ah. Take down yes. George Washington Monument, yes. Lincoln Monument. They're taking down all of our heroes so we can't see our past, and then we, we create this new history. And then the glitching part, also then I thought about how everybody's getting into this virtual reality where the new reality... They're trying to get people, remember, just to stay home with COVID. Right. And then they introduce Zoom. Then they're going to, we're going to all of a sudden be in the Matrix, and it's not going to be real. Right. You know, he's like, he's like doing this. And this set almost seems like, if anybody's ever done uh, VR headsets, it's very stark, and it's very... That's his workout. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Futuristic. Welcome to Planet Zero. Planetary regulations require that you check your screens for a list of all approved speech, protected classes, and accepted behaviors. We hope that you enjoy your stay. And as always, remember to start your day with outrage. Ah, remember to start your day with outrage. That reminds me of that thing. It was like, it's it's so great that we have stations like CNN and MSBC, so I know what to be pissed off about today. And I think that's what they're saying. They're saying, for those of you who spend your life watching CNN and thinking that that's reality, yeah. that tell you to be outraged from the minute mm -hmm. you wake up, wow, shine I, down. This wow. was good. This was good. I like this. Thank you. So they do a, a fantastic remake of Simple Man. Mm -hmm. Better than Skinner. I know, sacrilege, but listen to it if you haven't heard it. Go listen to their acoustic version of Simple Man by Shinedown. Yeah. You won't regret it. Yes. Thank you, Emily Hayes. Emily Hayes. Thank, Thank you, you, Emily. For those of you who don't have our email address, like Emily, like Emily corresponds with us a lot via email. Brian can throw up there real quick if I'm on a spot. Emails your suggestions of songs you want us to look at or clips you want us to look at because we try and keep our pulse on what's going on in the world today, but we lean heavily on you guys. And Emily has not been shy about, hey, you guys, you got to check out this song. Matter of fact, she was the one that suggested we look at We the People mm -hmm. by uh, Kid Rock. We did that a few weeks ago. Thank you for that as well, Emily. We appreciate that. Yeah, that, but, uh, that was good stuff. But Emily, thanks. I mean, that's, that's right in my wheelhouse. That's the genre I like. Ask Cedric. I was a... I loved, you know, Alice in Chains and Chris Cornell, Pearl Jam, that stuff. And then when the 2000s came around, bands like Shinedown were, were the bands that I liked. So I, I really appreciate it. It's so nice to know that they're doing something that's not ultra woke. Right. It's basically let's bring everybody together and quit waking up and just listening to the mainstream media and hating each other for whatever they tell us to hate each other about. Yeah. We've said this before, but it bears repeating. No matter, we, we started looking at Tom McDonald, you know, rap. But as we got into rap and country and now rock, different genres, but they're all kind of putting out the same message. Yep. It's like we're all, we're all kind of singing the same anthem and saying, you know, we got to wake up. We have, we're on planet zero here. This is one planet. We got to take care of it. If we keep beating each other up, there's going to be nothing left. Yeah. I like that. Good stuff. Good song. So I, I like the lyrics. And of course, I like the music too. All right. I think I have a comment here. I do have a comment. And, oh, as a matter of fact, this is from uh, Kid Rocks, um, We the People. Okay. And this is from Mr. I believe it's Mark Tandle. And Mark goes on to say, I was born April 1954. Ooh, dude, I, you're I, I old. Love I love that. <laughs> I love that. Just kidding. Dude. I was born, ignore him. <laughs> I was born April 1954, same as rock and roll. I've seen and heard it all and know who is right and who is wrong. More important than who is right or left. Dang, that was heavy. Did you guys get that? I've seen and heard it all and I know who is right and who is wrong. More important than who is right and who is left. 
I'm not going to say my analogy because I know you hate it, but it doesn't matter if you're right or left. We got to we got to work together. Now, when you said that you were born the same year as rock and roll, who are you referring to as the start of rock and roll? Because, you know, we might have to have a black and white. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know? appreciate the whole black and white thing. Well, because if, if you're saying Elvis, then he's, he was accused of stealing music from black people. Oh, yeah. it, There's a whole other debate, right? Yeah, that's the thing I got in trouble for. There is no cultural appropriation. We are not, <laughs> I'm going to say it again just here, we are not cultural appreciating. I don't mean me as a, as a black person or people say I'm a white person. Music belongs to everybody. No, you're not white. <laughs> I'm not. Still hasn't rubbed off on you. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, everything belongs to everybody and we culturally appreciate one another. And you build on things. I mean, people who make that argument, it's so silly because... Groups like, like I went to see a Queen cover band. Mm -hmm. They take a lot of stuff from classical music. Yep, yep. You grab from here and there, you know, and then you have bands like ACDC who take from blues. Okay, blues was an American black art form. But it doesn't mean you're appropriating it. Right. You enjoyed it, and then you wanted to make that music. Yep, absolutely. I mean, what, what are you going to say if a, if a black concert pianist plays classical? Are they culturally appropriating Mozart, yeah. a German? No. Right. They appreciate Mozart, and they're playing it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was, again, it was a great music review. Um, don't want to lean too heavily on Emily. So the rest of you, if you have a song like, hey, I want to see what these two idiots have to say about it. Emily, give us more. <laughs> let us know, and we will, we will see if we can put it in our, uh, in our videos. But anyway, make sure you guys like. Make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell. And continue sharing our videos with everyone you know. In the meantime, please make sure you take care of Planet Zero. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later.